Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the limit that exists, and if the limit does not exist, explain why. So here we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 2x plus the absolute value of x minus 3. So we can use limit laws to say this is the limit of 2x plus the limit of the absolute value of x minus 3. The limit of 2x is 2 times the limit of x. And the limit of the absolute value of x minus 3 is going to be a little bit more complicated. So because it matters whether what's inside the um, absolute value is positive or negative, we have to consider um, is that um, applicable for here. If we're putting in values close to 3, let's say we input a 2.999999, that's going to be a value less than zero. So we have to do just a little bit of an extra step to make sure that we understand the value of this function. So the first step is let's just graph this function to get an understanding of it. So we know the graph of the absolute value function, standard absolute value function, absolute value of x just looks like this. And we know from the transformations we learned in the last chapter that if you're subtracting 3 within the function, you're moving it 3 units to the left, or sorry, to the right, which is going to look a little something like this. It's not a perfect graph, but it does. And we can see that as we approach a value of 3, right, this is the important part, right? Because this is where values inside the absolute value being less than and greater than zero meet. It doesn't actually affect the limit because from both directions, they're approaching a value of zero. You could have also done this by taking the limit from the left and right, or by plugging in values close to it, but neither of those are exact. So I just like graphing it. I think that's the easiest way for simple functions just like this. The limit as x approaches 3 of x is 3, so this is 2 times 3, and then plus 0 doesn't do anything, obviously. So the value of the limit is 6.